Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to embellish this little kitchen towel by putting prairie points on the bottom. So let me open this up. What they are, are they're just little fabric squares that you just fold and press. You don't need to stitch them at all. They're real easy to make. And then I'll show you a really neat little trick for adding them on into the bottom of your towel. So let's get started. You're going to need about an eighth of a yard of fabric for each towel. All right, so, which is approximately four and a half inches. Now when you purchase your fabric at the fabric stores, it's not always a nice, clean, straight edge. So you want to leave it folded, leave it folded in half, and take a long ruler and you're going to straighten up one of the edges. So make sure it's a nice straight edge. Go ahead and trim that edge off nice and straight. Now you want to cut this strip down to four inches wide. So take the four inch line on your ruler and place it on that cut edge. And then begin cutting the remaining part of your strip of fabric off. Cut it all the way down that strip to where you have a full four inch wide length of fabric. Now you're going to cut the selvage end off. So place your ruler on the end here. Actually you should set it on the inside and make sure that your ruler is straight right on the edge. Look at the lines and see if it hits that edge straight and then go ahead and trim that selvage edge off. Now take your four inch line again, place it on that previously cut edge, and again line it up so it's nice and straight, and cut. Now you have two squares already cut. Then move it over, place that four inch line on that cut edge, line up your ruler, cut your second two strips and do it one more time. Let me move this over and cut your next strip. So I uh, mean your next squares. You should now have six four inch wide squares. So make sure you've got six and they're going to look like this. All right, four inch wide, four inch this way, four inch this way. Now you're going to take those six squares to your ironing board and you turn it over to where the back side is facing up and you're going to fold it corner to corner like this and with your iron press it and when you're done it's going to look like this. Here's my folded edge. You're going to take this corner and fold it over to this corner. Fold it in half again and with your iron press it and when you're done you should have six of your prairie points. When you get your towel, it's got a hem down here and you need to rip that hem out. So I usually, from the back side, I usually will rip out the seam there. So here's a seam ripper and this only takes like a minute to pull these threads out and I just usually go along and rip oh every three or four just keep going down and then I just pull it open pull out all the little pieces of thread so you want to take that seam out undo that hem when you're done it's gonna look like this so at your ironing board press all of this flat because you're gonna have all these little fold lines now on the back of the towel I want you to look at it you'll notice here is the fuzzy part the terry cloth side and it ends right here. So I want you to focus on that and look at it on the front. And I can see right here that this is where the terry cloth ends, right in here. You're going to take your prairie points and here's the raw edge of my prairie point. You're going to place it one quarter inch from where the terry cloth ends on the back. So go down one quarter inch and place that raw edge there. 
and I usually will start in the middle and I'll place about two of them. Now remember, you're going below that terry cloth line. And then I begin overlapping them. Okay? Now just set them down. Don't pin anything down just yet. And then I'll just kind of go across, keep setting them down. Now at the side here, have the end of your prairie point come in just a little bit. Don't have it sticking out past that edge right there. And then do your last few down here. Okay, now one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're placing these, this one here is on top of this one. This one on top and then make sure that they're all going in the same direction. They're all on top of each other going this way. Once you've got them all lined up, make sure they're below that edge. Then go ahead and pin it near the point down there, right here on the ends. And you want to continue pinning them all the way across. Okay? And this is just to hold them in place for the next step. Okay? Just so they don't shift on the next step. Once you've got them pinned all the way across, then you're going to take the lower edge of the towel and you're going to fold it in. And you want that folded line right up against the edge of the prairie point. So feel in there, to, so if it feels dippy in there, there's probably space. So you want to make sure this is right up against the raw edge of the prairie points. Then you want to go ahead and pin it all the way across. Okay? And just keep placing pins until you get all the way across. So continue that all the way down. All right, now I'm going to go to my next sample. I just folded this over. I've placed pins along here. Now you want to stitch, come in from this folded edge in one quarter inch and stitch from the end all the way across. Okay, all the way across. Now you're going to take this towel to your ironing board and then unfold this and press. Alrighty, just press this nice and flat going this way. Then you're going to do one more press. So lift this up, fold it underneath all the way across, pull the prairie points out a little bit and press the towel one more time. So now we've got it all folded over. I'm going to go over to this end right here. Now you're going to fold the raw edge here of the towel. And I'm going to turn it one more time so you can see it from the side a little bit. You're going to fold this in about a quarter of an inch and fold it down like this. See that? Then go ahead and place a pin to hold it. And then you're going to continue that all the way down the towel. Just pin this edge. Okay, so continue pinning all the way across. Now I'm going to go to my next sample. So now use matching thread for this next step. My previous towel was green, so you'd use green thread. This one is just white. So you now you're going to stitch just a little ways in from this edge here to where the fold is, go in just a little bit and stitch close to that line all the way across. Go all the way across to the other end. And now you are done. So let me turn this over. Isn't this cute? Now these towels I used in this video were in a set. So because two of them are done the other one is almost done. See this? This would make a fantastic gift for someone. A really, really great gift. I thought it turned out just 
adorable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have lots of tutorials on how to decorate towels, so make sure you check below your YouTube screen for those video tutorial links. I also have many, many beginners sewing projects also. Now make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing.